I went two full days of fasting as an experiment because I have lymphocytic colitis. Hi there, welcome to episode 13 of my chronic illness journey. My name is Shay McIntosh Ford and I live in Tulsa with my husband, our two boys, and our little puppy. I was diagnosed with lymphocytic colitis last April following my bout with COVID-19, which started in March of 2020. And this is a vlog about how the lymphocytic colitis affects my day-to-day -day life. I record what I eat and when, and I drink only water, homemade beef bone broth, and every other day, I seem to be able to tolerate a single teacup of coffee. But occasionally, I will drink a glass of wine for pain. If I can't fall asleep, that's the only way to do it. <laughs> because lymphocytic colitis is an irritable bowel disease, I will talk about the most unpleasant aspects of it, including when I go to the bathroom, because that could be more than once a day. But I actually had a very good week this week. Whenever I do have a bad trip to the bathroom, I take two anti-diarrheals. One is a bismuth tablet, and I find them to be kind of sweet. So my running joke is that they turn into a different dessert every time I take it. But I think I only needed it once this week. I've been doing really good and fasting is a big deal. So having some issues, but fasting is definitely helping. Along with fasting, diet definitely matters with this condition. A lot of doctors will tell you it doesn't, but the ones who understand what it is they will tell you it does. So for me, what's been working is a carnivore diet. Specifically, I lean more toward a lion diet, which is mostly ruminant meats like cattle, bison, lamb. But I do eat ghee butter, specifically ghee because there's no casein in it. But that's what's been working for me as far as food goes. And lately, fasting is helping. So I'm eating one meal a day at the same time of day. I did try the two day fast. You'll see in my vlog how it goes. If you are suffering from colitis, I hope that something here that I say or do will help you with your journey as well. And with that, here's my week. Good morning, and I'm in my PJs again. This is the time of day I'd like to try to eat, that way I can get it over with, and then get to everything else in my day without being interrupted by food and cooking. So, it's Sunday, time for liver. I am liking this fasting because it makes me feel so much better. Hopefully this will be the only time I talk to you today. Hopefully that's no famous last words this time. Good morning. It is the last of the beef bone broth bits. It's also a coffee day. I might try an extra cup of coffee. Not yet. What I'm gonna do, because tomorrow's Thursday and Wednesday I have liver. Since this is the last bowl of beef bone broth bits, by the way, this is with the bison in tallow. But because I haven't cooked the arm roast yet, I'm gonna try the 48 hour fast. This is a good time for it. I don't need to eat tomorrow and Wednesday is liver. Thursday, I will cook the arm roast and that will carry me on for the next week, I guess. See how a 48 hour fast goes. The 24 hour fast so far, I feel really good, really, really good. I mean, I had, after I ate yesterday, I had a little bit of cramping. It hasn't stopped me from being a lot more normal. I haven't felt normal in, <laughs> wow. So I haven't felt this normal since before COVID really. I had definitely still had more energy. So it's kind of like, I don't have as much energy as I did before COVID, but I definitely have stopped the intense cramping and constant pain and that's really lovely. I don't know that I'll be able, I still don't know that I'll be able to get back to Timmons there as far as taking harp gigs. I'm definitely focusing on my writing. I might try to do some harp, see how I do maybe at an open mic night or something when those start up again. But I don't know, I don't think I can commit to a gig yet, not, not for a while, just because of the nature of the colitis. I definitely make writing my main focus on career aspects at the moment. I'm going to the library today. I'm realizing it's really hard to write. When we lived in Colorado, I had the basement to myself. So I had my own space to write and I could close the door and the dog didn't bother me. No one bothered me. The boys were in school. Here, the only space for me to set up my writing space is in the kitchen. 
And that's like the worst place in the world to do any writing. It's also not very nice for fasting either. I can still fast. I have pretty good willpower for food. Yeah, I would like to eat it, but I know I shouldn't, so I don't. It doesn't make it any easier being in the kitchen all the time and when you're fasting. I'm gonna break my fast, then get a whole bunch of writing done. Well, hello. I did not eat this morning. I'm trying a 48 hour fast, like I said. So far, so good. It's just that I did feel a little dizzy. I was at the library this morning after dropping the boys off at school and I was trying to do some riding sprints and I did feel a moment of dizziness during the first sprint. My sprints are like 30 minutes and I take a 30 minute break in between. I was there for a good, you know, hour and a half at least and I did feel dizzy in the very beginning but I was able to stay for that long. But I decided I needed to at least come home and drink some bone broth because I probably need the salt. I also ran out of my water, drink the sparkling water. So I know they have water fountains there, but I like my sparkling water. I figure between the bone broth and the sparkling water, I'll be able to manage the rest of the day. If I feel dizzy again after the bone broth, then I'll make it a 36 hour fast, maybe eat my liver tonight and then do another 36 hour fast and eat on Friday morning. I think that might be how I do it. Otherwise, I'm doing great. I like not having pain all the time. I'm gonna keep going. So I just had a BM, which is a little strange since I haven't actually eaten anything in almost a day and a half. I guess the bone broth sort of got my intestines triggered, and that's fine because it wasn't it wasn't bad. It was almost normal. No anti-diet reels just now. Still feeling pretty good. No more dizzy spells, so I'm gonna keep going. If I need to eat, it, I'm gonna try to wait until 7.30, so that'll be a 36 hour fast. Though I really hope to wait. Tomorrow morning I can have my coffee. I would like to have coffee with food because it just tastes better with food. There's something about drinking coffee with food, especially liver, that makes it so good. I don't know what it is. It just, the food brings out the flavor of the coffee bean. Good morning. I'm not gonna take too long because hubby accidentally locked the dog out so I had to let her back in and my food's gonna get cold and it's Wednesday. It's liver and liver is best when it's fresh and hot. Today is also a coffee day. I'll get into my experience with a 48 hour fast here in a little while, but I'm gonna eat right now. Not because I'm ravenously hungry, I could go a little longer. I don't want it to get cold. It took a, a long time to eat all of that. It, it wasn't any more than I normally eat, but it just felt like a lot probably because I haven't eaten in two days. I don't feel as bad after having eaten as I used to, like all the cramping and stuff. There's a little bit of cramping and some slight belly noise, so I feel like I'm gonna be going here in a little bit. It's not as intense as in the past. I did do pretty good the second day better than I thought. By the end though, I was still, I was struggling a little bit. So I ended up going to bed early. I knew I could just sleep it off. I felt a little bit too weak. If I felt like that in the morning, I would have eaten. But because it was night, I'm like, well, I could just sleep it off. I've gone this long, I don't want to ruin it. I did drink another jar of bone broth. So I had two jars yesterday. Oh, and I did have a bit of a headache. I can't tell if the headache was from not eating or because of strain, muscle strain. I was at the library writing and it is so cold in that stupid library. I mean I love the library but why do they have to crank that air conditioning down so low? I was wearing my cowl, my hat, my fingerless gloves, a thick sweater. I was freezing. <laughs> I ended up coming home to finish my writing sprints which is not easy. The dog wants to hop in my lap and I'm in the kitchen and hubby wants to chat with me when he comes to get a cup of coffee or something. So it's not easy writing at home. When I'm at the library, I'm like my muscles are all seized up because I'm so cold. <laughs> I just wanted to sit in front of my little heater. That could have been what caused my headache yesterday. And I was a little nervous about taking the acetaminophen on an empty stomach but it, it didn't bother me. I know I've gone a long time without food because I had to fast before my colonoscopies and my endoscopy. You know, I, I don't remember how long that was. I know, you know, how long it had been before the procedure, but I don't remember, you know, I didn't calculate how long it had been from starting to fast before the procedure to when I actually ate. I think this might've been the longest I've ever gone without food and it really wasn't that 
bad. It was hard at the end. I, I definitely was struggling by yesterday evening. I had a little bit of cramping, which was probably some extra hunger pains, but it was easy just to go to sleep and not think about it <laughs> while I was sleeping. I really think fasting is what's helping me. I was really, really, really hoping that fasting was going to send me on my way to remission. At least I'm not in nearly the amount of pain as I was eating two meals a day. There's at least that. I'm not gonna do another 48 hour fast until after my next batch of bone broth, which is, that's gonna be a while because I have an arm roast that I'm gonna cook tomorrow. Oh no, cookies. What's interesting is the character that I'm writing about, she is essentially fasting. She's striving herself to avoid menstruation in order to disguise herself as a boy without a lot of trouble, because this is 1899. She keeps being offered a whole bunch of cookies by different people because she's so skinny. Of course, she's refusing them. And I have no choice but to refuse cookies. So this is a cookie. I am not trying to avoid menstruation. I am not gonna go that far with starving myself. <laughs> and I'm not starving myself. I'm just trying to heal my gut. I'm not gonna go for more than two days without eating. I don't think that's healthy for someone like me, from what I understand. I definitely feel better not eating. Good morning. I have beef arm roast with my little blob of bone marrow. It's a lot later than I meant to eat, but this isn't a true 24 hour fast anyway. I had to have a glass of wine last night, not because I was cramping. Yesterday I had fillings done at the dentist and my mouth was hurting, even after Tylenol. Tylenol helped, but I didn't think I was gonna be able to sleep because it really hurt. <laughs> and my mouth still hurts this morning, but I'm okay. Otherwise I feel great. The only reason I'm eating this late is because it just takes a while to cook. It was ready before I had to take the boys to school, but I wouldn't have had time to eat it all. Just wish I didn't need the wine last night, but at least I didn't need it because of cramping reasons. Oh, and when I went to the dentist, because they did fillings, they'd take your blood pressure. <laughs> and now I know why I wasn't feeling all that great at the end of my 48 hour fast. My blood pressure was, I think like 96 over 63. So it was kind of low. So that makes sense. I probably should have had an extra jar of bone broth with some more salt in it. I think I just didn't get enough salt. Good morning. Time to break my fast. Not a true 24 hour fast though. My upper jaw up here where I got my fillings done, it still hurts. The fillings, by the way, is thanks to the wine. The point of drinking the wine is to help me fall asleep. And sometimes I'm just so tired, I just completely forget to brush my teeth. I'm like, I am ready for bed. So I end up doing it in the morning, but that doesn't mean that that wine isn't eating away at my teeth all night. But I need to call the dentist and see. It was so numb, because there were like four fillings and then a crown back here. The whole upper jaw was numb and I couldn't tell that the bite was off when they were adjusting you know, the fillings. And it's definitely off. It's achy, like when I used to have braces, that feeling when you first get your braces on and how achy your jaw is. <laughs> I had wine last night, not for cramps, but for a sore jaw. I took the acetaminophen and I was still hurting. <laughs> anyway, this is the arm roast. The fat in here is the discs from the tops of my bone broth. So I just, I had saved a few over the last couple of days and I just tossed it all in there. So that's what that is. So there's no ghee actually. This is essentially tallow. It's, it's all beef, beef fat. Today's a coffee day. Yay! We'll see how I do, because I realized the last coffee day was when I broke my 48 hour fast, but I had to run to the bathroom, so, but I did have coffee that morning. We'll see what happens today. Maybe if I run to the bathroom again today, because I didn't yesterday, maybe it is the coffee. <laughs> I don't want to give up my coffee. Maybe it'll be worth having coffee anyway, even if it's just one time a day where I have to run to the bathroom. That's what this is all about, giving it a try. Oh, and yes, I'm still in the PJs. This is one of my donate blood t-shirts. That's a little frustrating because there's a blood shortage right now and I can't donate blood. They said that if I go into remission, they'll reevaluate whether or not I can donate blood. And I think it's because this lymphocytic colitis specifically, I don't know about others, 
but with this one you tend to be dehydrated you don't get enough electrolytes I mean I eat enough electrolytes but I don't absorb my body doesn't absorb them because of the conditions they're going to reevaluate if I can get into remission but if you are in remission and you're just watching me just to get ideas please donate people like my husband's nephew who has leukemia needed a blood transfusion and the shortage has been a problem for him definitely donate if you can so I was feeling great all day until about 30 minutes ago Charlie's birthday is today and we're having a party for him tomorrow just a you know, small eight guests I was busy scrubbing and polishing the stainless steel appliances like the dishwasher and the stove you know getting everything clean and just putting a little bit more effort than I normally would cleaning the front of the oven and the dishwasher is not a priority and it was pretty dirty and getting everything set up I had to sweep this this morning because we made William sweep and he did a terrible job so I had to go back through and do it anyway you know just all that effort it just drained I feel nauseous my jaw doesn't hurt so bad I'm getting used to the filling which they're going to adjust but not until next week but at least my jaw is not aching like it was yesterday and this morning so I don't know that I'm gonna need wine unless I start cramping I might just take a bismuth and see how I do or I might drink some bone broth I don't know I'll do another update later but I don't feel well and it's a direct result of exerting myself too much which is exactly why I don't do gigs anymore and that's frustrating because I miss doing gigs so I had a long rest, vegging out, I'm feeling a little better. I'm not gonna do a second meal, but I am gonna have a jar of bone broth. Yes, I took the fat off, so that's gonna go in my breakfast tomorrow. I still have a little bit of cleaning left. I still have to sweep and mop the kitchen floor again, because the boys did not do a good job. Finished cleaning out the big coffee pot, because it's all stained, so it needs some scrubbing. I think we're about ready for the party. Hopefully I don't have a flare in the middle of it, because it's just me for the first half. Hubby's on a men's retreat till uh, about noon tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. Good morning. Time to eat. This is the arm roast. This time it's in ghee butter because I only had one disc of the broth fat. I'll save that for tomorrow because I'll have another jar of broth today and maybe I'll have enough fat to, to make this with it. This is actually true 24 hour fast this time. I did not need the wine. Hopefully today goes okay. Oh, and yes, I am still in my PJs again. It really works for me to eat early and then not eat for the rest of the day. It just means that I'm just still in my PJs when I record. You might see me in my PJs more often. So I'm not doing all that great at the moment. I'm not hungry and just I'm feeling really nauseous and I think that might be just because of all the commotion this afternoon, well this morning and this afternoon for Charlie's party. We had eight of his friends here and it was just me <laughs> for the m most of it. And it really wasn't hard. I mean, they're sixth graders, so, and they were playing video games most of the time, so they were pretty well regulated. It's a lot of commotion. One of his friends is autistic, um, which is fine because Charlie's autistic too and I think they get along really well together. With, like with some autistic kids, he has a tendency to be pretty loud. <laughs> It doesn't uh, manage his vocal registry uh, as well as others. And, you know, that's expected. I am an introvert, and all of the commotion and just lots of people around, even the young people, was just a lot for me. Hopefully, I won't have a reaction from it. For me, it's like scrubbing the front of the dishwasher. I just, I, I don't handle a lot of that very well. I am going to try some bone broth. This is from the arm roast. There's not a lot in it. There was a, I filled it up, but there was a really thick layer of tallow in it. I got all that out, so that's gonna be part of the arm roast in a bowl on Monday, because tomorrow's a liver day. We'll see how this helps. I might take bismuth, I don't know. And I'm gonna leave it here. I hope that something I've said or done this week has helped you. If you have any questions, Please don't hesitate to drop those down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye.
96 over 50, over 60, 96 over 50. I'm busy scrubbing. Hey mom, thank you fast. What's the cosine of 24 times 11? I know. Between you and the dog, I have plenty of